What's up guys, this is Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna to talk about four wide receiver press release drills you guys can do to improve your game. Let's get started. All right guys, before we get started on this first drill we're gonna talk about to help your releases improve, I want you guys to check out that link in the description. Guys, if you're a receiver and you need to improve your IQ, okay, all receivers need to be second quarterbacks on the field. Please check out that link in the description to see this new membership opportunity on my website. We have four defensive coverage breakdowns a week to help your football IQ improve. Let's get into the video. So the first drill we're gonna be working is gonna help your jab off the line of scrimmage, okay? So this jab is where DB's coming up and pressing us. We gotta give him a quick speed release and then get up into this route, okay? So we're gonna work four sets on the right leg then four sets on the left so what we're going to do is we're going to start at the back but you're going to be here and your feet are going to be staggered just like this now eyes are going to be forward the most important thing is being able to explode with my feet and keep my feet underneath me but also turn my shoulders okay because this is what's going to get the db to bite he's watching your hips okay he's not looking at your feet so i see a lot of guys reach out there with their feet that's not going to get you any separation we want to be explosive with my feet and i want to turn my head and my shoulders and maybe get my eyes outside to get this db to bite he's going to be watching our torso and he's going to be watching our hips okay he's not going to be watching our feet so what we're going to be doing is we're going to go through each cone just like this and we're going to explode then we're going to come up to the next one and i want the weight to be focused on the inside arch of your foot then we're going to explode and then we're going to come up to the next cone then we're going to work that on the opposite side four sets each leg i'm going to show you how this thing's going to look full speed All right, guys, so this next release drill we're gonna be working is for your slide release, okay? Now, you guys have probably all seen this release before. A slide release is when this DB's got a little bit of a cushion. He's in about a catch technique. He's not gonna jam you straight off the line, but he's, got, he's playing press. It is man coverage. So what we wanna do is we wanna slide him off this platform. So this release is where we're lined up against this DB and press, and we slide him, then we make a jab to the outside, hopefully getting this DB to turn the gate. Same idea as the last video. When I make this stick to the outside, I wanna keep my toes forward, weight on the inside, head and shoulders to the outside okay so we're gonna have this set up in like a triangle right now I'm gonna show you how this thing's gonna look so we're gonna be here left leg's gonna be up first or no actually we're gonna switch legs right leg's gonna be up first then we're gonna slide stick here then we're gonna slide coming back stick here at this cone and then we're gonna burst up okay I'm gonna show you how this thing's gonna look full speed it's gonna make a little bit more sense I want to work about four sets with the last cone I'm exploding off my right leg and then four sets with the last cone I'm exploding off my left leg All right, guys, so this next drill we're going to be working is off of a foot fire release, okay? Now, when I say foot fire release, what I mean is when we're off the line and we give our fast hands, fast feet, and now it's going to be a foot fire double move, like a foot fire crossover like we're playing basketball. So what it's going to be is, is we're going to be coming out here, foot fire, and then we're going to go right inside, outside, okay? So we're going to go in, out, release, double move, okay? Now, what this is working is same idea as this slow play release. When this DB's got a little bit of a cushion on us, right? We want to close the gap with him, get him on his heels, get his feet working. Now, we want to stay in that range to where he can't get a lot of hands on us he can't pop us and knock us off of our route so we want to be here closing the gap with him and we decide to make our double move it's the same idea as all the releases we've been talking about i want my feet to be very explosive underneath my frame and i want to turn my shoulders to get this db to either open up his gate or to beat his weight all the way on this outside leg i'm going to show you how this thing's going to look full speed All right, guys, so this next show we're going to be working is a triple release, okay? A triple step, a triple move release, however you want to call it. So everybody knows the double move off the line. Well, we're set up right here in DB, and we want to move in the direction we're going first. So we go in, out, and then we're going to take an inside release, right? Or we want to take an outside release, we go out, in, back out. Now, this is a triple step release. Now, the side we step first is the side we're not going to go, okay? So it's reversed. So what we're going to do is we're going to have these three cones here. Nice receiver stance right up in front of these cones. Again, I don't want you to reach. I want your feet to be underneath you and I want your shoulders to work with your feet. So we're gonna be here. All we're gonna do, left, right, left, and then I'm bursting up, okay? A way we could use this release is if you wanna start with this cone on the outside, we could run a slant, right? We could come right, left, right, run this slant, or now since the cone's on the inside, we can run a fade off of this thing. We go left, right, left, and then burst up on this fade. I wanna work about four sets where I'm breaking off the left leg, and then four sets where I'm breaking off the right leg. I'll show you how this thing's gonna look, full speed. <coughs> All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave in the comments any questions you guys have that really mean a lot to me, and I'll see you guys next time.